Welcome back to the Goons Pio. Oh, welcome back to the Goons Pia. Oh, welcome back to the Goons 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 Welcome back to the Nope 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 God damn, dude, you gonna break that 30 year old chair, boy. I'm gonna break my ass. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, he started going for the grand. That was a grand one. I could probably go forever, but like, it, it sucks because like, my inhales are halted by this mask going in my mouth. I said the same thing when I was giving my uncle head. <sighs> oh, yeah, true. Why'd you have a mask on? COVID, COVID. brother. Fair enough. <laughs> my uncle had monkeypox, so I gave him head with a mask on. As long as we're all on the same page. That's uh, impressive that you're able to do that. Give his uncle head? Yeah. Pretty common denominator, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been going on the past week for the Goons, Piss Ethan? Piss Ethan? Why would I say Piss Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. You tell me. I honestly have been losing sleep over the 11 <laughs> billion crabs, so I'm not going to lie. Oh, my oh God. My God. <laughs> I wish Flark was here. Dude. I wish Blarg and Swagger were here so we could talk <clears throat> about it more in depth. I feel like we got it pretty much all covered the other As night. if we didn't talk about it enough. For two and a half <laughs> hours. <laughs> Everyone will see be seeing a two-hour video from each of us about crabs <laughs> at some point. Yeah, yours got age-restricted, huh? I saw your tweet. Yeah, I uploaded mine yesterday and it got age-restricted immediately. You just like took the L? You're not going to like re-upload it? <sighs> I don't think so. I, I had to uh, remove a GTA video. I'm actually uploading in 10 minutes. I'm re-uploading it. Uh, I think I saw that tweet, too. I'm going to see how well it performs. Because it sucks, dude. Both both back-to-back -back videos that got age-restricted would have both been like 1 out of 10s or 2 out of 10s. And, that, and they got nuked. It sucks. Yeah. It's always those videos that get pumped and recommended that just eventually... Yeah, like you get audited. It's like a trip to red flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, it's A little it's bit so too much AIDS. money, and then you're just like... <laughs> government's like That's what yeah. I said. This guy's been a little too, too much. successful for yeah. Uh, yeah. talking about crabs. I could have much. a video that's like a six out of ten, that's like a solid six out of ten, and I could pretty much say the n word in the first minute; and it wouldn't matter. But I have a video that says "poop" in the first eight minutes of a video that's one out of ten, and it's like, oh, hold on! It's like a first grade English teacher reviewed your video. Yeah, exactly. you can't say "poopy" or "butt" or yeah. "balls." I randomly get hit. Like the most obscure kind of like shit post videos, I do get hit. Yeah, both of my Western uh, videos got hit, and those are, like, very tame. Yeah, that's so weird that that would happen to, to Mine that. Mine was like, not, and it was fully green. Yeah, Literally talking about killing Mexicans the whole time. Yeah, really. And then I did like, <laughs> I did one with, like, Vanoss and them, and they, that was, like, way more tame than ours. And ours wasn't yeah, even that bad. Imagine. I think it's literally, I think most of it boils down to cussing. If you cuss, like, within the first, like, minute 30, it's... Yep, you gotta cut them bitches out. I have our Chivalry 2 video done, like, posted on my second channel, but it's not, like posted yet and when i first uploaded it it had like fuck a few too many times and it just instantly got picked up by the bot demonetized and then eventually age restricted and then confirmed and then i just mm. like bleeped out like maybe three cuss words and now it's just fine now it's confirmed <laughs> so i don't is it throughout the whole video or just the beginning i think it's just the beginning because if you look at the like when you upload a video you you choose like um there's like a bunch of different options you can choose before you post it yeah. The reason for that is like the, I'm sure Super's probably told you this before, but it's like, um, you kind of like build trust with YouTube. Like if you're, if your own ratings are accurate, YouTube will trust you more. Huh? Yeah. It's kind of fucked, isn't it? I honestly like didn't your, know that. It's like yeah. your fucking credit, you your, your social, your social <clears throat> yeah. credit score, which I don't, I don't ever look at that. I, I don't, I've never told anyone about that. Cause I don't like, I, I think my rating is low. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I never look at it. So. Well, that's probably why you get that's probably why you get age restricted a second after you post the video. But it's weird because it, YouTube has some weird thing with me where it's like if I if I upload a video and I make it public the day that I upload it, it probably, this probably makes fucking no sense to anybody that's not like that doesn't do YouTube. Yeah, a lot of people don't. Under, a lot of people don't understand. You can upload a video to YouTube. And then just keep it unlisted for like a week or a month forever. or forever or forever time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would do that in college, honestly, so I could upload a Spanish assignment. Yeah, like later on in the day mm -hmm. while I was at the bar, just click on the thing, listed or whatever. 
Yeah. Yeah. Unlisted. Mm. So what what we'll normally do as YouTubers is upload a video unlisted first, and then we'll make it public at a particular time that we choose. Is kind of how it works. But if I upload a video and I have it unlisted on the same day as I make it public, it always gets fucking like demonetized or age restricted. And yeah, I used to have Blarg that problem. Blargan dude too. had never had that problem, but I, I do. Because n- I almost always upload that way. I'm always like getting it done the day of, and then I just throw it up. So I've never had that problem. Yeah, I can't do that shit. It could be just because you're like your accuracy is low, and they just have to be like. I don't think my accuracy is very good either. Pretty sure it says up top, like, be careful, you're retarded. Actually, I'm going to go look at mine right now. Is it like language throughout? I just want to know because I, I remember seeing. It's weird. It's like if you. So my recent Didn't GTA video that, like got. Excessive language yeah, it was excessive, vulgar language like throughout or some shit. Yeah. Throughout is like, what, we got to censor the whole damn video? In my experience, as long as you keep like very minimal fuck and shit out of the first like minute or minute and a half. That's what I do, yeah. Like I upload videos where I'll say fuck a couple times in the first minute and there's no problem. It gets confirmed green. But if I'm just like fuck this goddamn shit motherfucking god like it, it'll get Oh yeah. That's that's nuked. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? You're canceled. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> How do I see what my rating is? I'm actually curious to see. Uh, I think you have um, to upload to yeah. see your rating. It's All in right, that I'll, upload screen where I'm you rate your scratching my I will go upload something random and see what it says. Oh, ooh. You were about to anyways, weren't you? Are that being the spot, Mr. McNeese? Well, no, he's talking about like uploading it <coughs> like an actual ball. thing. Is that your ball scratcher? No, it's a bear claw back scratcher. The focus on that. Wow. Wow, that's a good camera. Damn, is that from a real bear, boy? I can smell that thing. That's from a baby bear. Ripped it right <laughs> off his paw and fossilized it. <laughs> Put it on the Put stick. It on the stick. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is actually a gift from my cousin uh, from Christmas last year. And it's probably like the gift that I use the most. It's your cousin a bear. <laughs> he <laughs> sacrifices his own hand for me. <laughs> Huge. I'll do anything for you, cuzzo. <laughs> I heard you got an itchy back. Take my hand. Take my- you liking that thing? <laughs> Imagine having like a tame bear to scratch your back. <laughs> just big ass claws just oosh, eesh, oosh, eesh. And cuts into your flesh and fucking kills you. No, I can't no. find my, my rating. It's super tamed, so you, it knows to not use a lot of pressure. Not they said possible. that about the chimp that ripped the lady's face off. Yeah, true. Yep. He's super tame. Didn't something happen yeah. with that chimp, though? Didn't he, like... Uh... I think they threw him in a wood chipper after that. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, something happened to cause that chimp to go crazy. He didn't just wake up one day and choose violence. No, he was... The lady was trying to lure him out with a stuffed animal. Not the one that owned him, but the one of the helpers or whatever. And he attacked her. And the one who owned the chimp stabbed him, like, ten times or whatever. And he just ripped the lady's oh, eyes out. Going. Yeah, he like fucking. He ran up to the cop car when they got there and had all her shit like all over him. Me and, and that chimp are just alike, baby. They shot him like <laughs> ten times. I thought that he the the chimp like <laughs> ate something that kind of caused him to go crazy. Ecstasy or some shit. I think he had a bad banana. I think he's meant to live in the wild, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think all of his cousins and aunts and uncles were doing that too. He finally decided to do it. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I've never done this before. Fuck it. <laughs> I've wanted to do this for years. <laughs> you ever seen those videos of people who like have like pet black bears, like the big old fluffy ones? I see this like three foot Russian woman on TikTok sometimes who has a grizzly yeah. bear as a pet. A grizzly? There's a guy. Yeah, it's like eight times her size. Oh my god! And she's three foot tall. <laughs> she's a tiny ass little Russian. Are you sure that? The, are you hole. sure that she's not the fucking grizzly bear's pet? Are you sure <laughs> that walking really her ass? <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. like, get out the camera. <laughs> I just love the one. Post this like, on TikTok. It's like a black bear, but it's clearly like morbidly obese. And he just walks up behind and goes, "Hey, bear." Give him like a piece of watermelon. Hey, Bill, here's Bill. There's one where the guy like lets <laughs> the hippo walk in and out of his house. Just like lives with a hippo. Oh, I would not do that. No. Hippos That's how are you extremely fucking die, dangerous. Boy. That's how you have very I mean, bears bad are dangerous floors. too, but I don't know. Hippos are something I think else. A hippo kills more than like a lot Any, of fucking anything. Animals. I think hippos are yeah, the deadliest right. animal. A hippo can fuck up an alligator, and I don't like the thought of that. <laughs> yeah. And you just in the living room. <laughs> Like, where's the bathroom? Take a wrong turn. There's a fucking hippo in the kitchen. It's insane. <laughs> I, have I bet a, their floors in that house are fucked. Yeah. I have a huge fascination with people who are able to tame, like, wild animals, like a, you know, like a badger. <laughs> like a I ain't beaver. seen don't that those, yet. Don't those things <laughs> fuck you up? Won't those, I don't like, even think it's tame. They're just badgers are little bitches. Yeah. 
But like a raccoon, I would love to have a raccoon as a pet. You ever see people just have like a little fat ass raccoon and just yeah. eat yeah. like French fries and shit? They're cool. Well, as that's because they're feeding it all day. One of my dad's friends has one, and it's just pull fully tame like a dog. Sort of, but he had to like raccoon proof his home, so he had to like prep his house. And he <laughs> couldn't have any dumpsters in there. You, you literally, <laughs> you, he had to like get locks for every cabinet because the raccoon will go yeah. like, mm-hmm. just like go up the fucking Those shit and open your smart, cabinets. Dude. And they have thumbs, dude. They yeah. have, they have these. Yeah. They have the crispy grippers. I remember when I was camping one time and we had like a, we brought like bins and one bin had a bunch burns. of unopened food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went to camp and then, and then burn. Yeah. Braden. <laughs> Somebody needs to domesticate Braden. <laughs> well, we had a we had a bin full of like unopened food, like just snacks. Because you know, when you go camping, you take snacks. And we had like unopened chip bags, unopened like um like cookies and stuff. And and raccoons got in our shit that night. And when we got, they managed to like open everything. Mm-hmm. Like they just. Yeah, I had a raccoon try to molest me when I was camping with my family once. You didn't let it? I was asleep outside on a cot, and it was it was coming up to molest me. My mom ran it off. Never forgive her. Hmm. <laughs> I actually had rabies, and you've suffered ever since. <clears throat> <laughs> I followed one one day. Really? Sorry about that. That was me killing a raccoon. Hmm. It did sound like a gunshot. <sighs> you followed one one day? Are we going to expand yeah. on that? That's no. all he had to say. Yep. I followed oh. it in my truck, and uh, I saw him <clears throat> go into a trash can, and I walked up to the trash can, and he jumped out, and I think I sk- we like scared each other, and then we ran in different directions, and I left. <laughs> I think that was me, like cartoon dude. or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I, I remember. Your head. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, wooga, and then ran away. <laughs> I used to like wake up for school, and the trash in the yard would just be fucking everywhere from raccoons and I'd have to pick up trash at like so 7 a.m. Dumb little bitches. I'm going to get baby chicks soon. Little chickadees. Are you going to have a little chicken farm at your house or what? Yeah. Fresh, yeah. fresh eggs. Fresh yeah. shout out eggs, baby. You know what's crazy about fresh eggs is that you don't have to refrigerate them unless you yeah. wash them. Then you have to put them in the refrigerator. Yeah, I get to, hmm. like every week I get this like box of like veggies and stuff delivered like fresh local veggies and the it comes with a dozen eggs and they just like leave it on your porch they just you don't have to like yeah they're they're like everywhere in europe and stuff they don't they don't refrigerate their eggs well i don't trust anybody from europe yeah. i did not know you lived in <clears throat> europe <laughs> no, I, I joke I, I joke i kid i joke i kid i joke i joke i kid it's hard to tell if that's real because you have the mask on. Yeah. I well, I mean, know. you can tell by the tone of the laugh. I don't think I've ever laughed like that before. Fair enough. Fair enough. But I'm learning a lot about raising chickens. Like, number one, you're not supposed to fuck them in their ass. <laughs> yeah, probably that's number What's one? the point, then? Well, I mean, you number could. two, you're not supposed to fuck them in the egg hole. Do the eggs come out of the ass the or the egg, egg hole? hole? You mean the Is pussy? that not the same hole? <laughs> Why would it be called the egg hole yeah. if it didn't come out of there? I don't know, dude. They I mean, have three you, holes? What? Do you call your girlfriend's vagina the egg hole? <laughs> Why is Charlie <laughs> <a pussy>? What? <laughs> Listen. Just where the egg comes out. Why is it called egg Charlie Brown, so but he's not? All right. <laughs> Tell you what. I mean, Jack no, Black I don't is want white. A chicken. Exactly, and Jack White is white. So the world is backwards, <laughs> yeah. and I'm over it. Yeah. What if Walter White Never was thought about that. Guatemalan? Guatemala. <laughs> Guatemala. Walter Guatemalan. He's just white. The rise He's from Argentina. Of Flynn from Guatemala. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I went, right to a, I went to a Tim McGraw concert last weekend. How was that? I saw your photos you took. They look good. Yeah, they nice. look crispy. I, um, High quality. Was, I print. I printed them out and jerked off on them. Uh, okay. Well, you probably just do that. I mean, to any other Tim McGraw photo, it doesn't have to be mine. <laughs> That's true. Had to be taken with your hands, boy. <laughs> it was mostly just the like, fact that you took them was very hot to me. Uh, anyway, yeah. go ahead. That put me over the edge. POV. <laughs> um, I went with my mom because my mom is diehard Tim McGraw and Grizzly fan. A diehard Tim McGraw and Grizzly fan. And, uh, very diverse yeah. interests. Yeah, this, so she has been to like 50 fucking Tim McGraw concerts in her life. So obviously, if you're obsessed with an artist, you're going to go to like every concert. And uh, this one was a special one because it was like a, it was called Wine Country Weekend. And it was in Napa Valley here in California. And uh, it was like a charity mm-hmm. event because T- Tim McGraw has uh, an event, a charity for his dad. And then um, his dad that passed away a long time. 
And then Guy Fieri also has his own charity. Yeah. And they both, like, I guess Tim McGraw and Guy <clears throat> Fieri, like, recently, like, met each other and, like, became good friends. And then they just, like, randomly decided to host this event. And um, it was, like, a concert. It was, like, a silent auction, um, stuff like that, like, to raise money for the charity. And then it was a concert, but there was only, like, three, 400 people there. So it was, like, very, very close. Exclusive. Yeah. yeah, very intimate. It wasn't like a stadium concert or anything crazy. Like everybody was close to the stage. You were either right up badass. on the stage or you and the crazy thing too is there was like there was no gap between the people and the stage. Like you could just, you were just pushed right up against the stage. And uh but I didn't That's do that. Sick. My mom did that because she just wanted more, you know, more like close experience. And I was in the back, you know, with my super long zoom lens just taking a bunch of crotch shots at Tim McGraw. While he was dancing around. <laughs> Some feet pics from the back of the yeah. venue. <laughs> Thought yeah. he was gonna have on flip flops. It's kind of dumb because like there was a the the biggest thing that the biggest reason she wanted to go is because there was a meet and greet. Where she was able to like, you know, be right up like hold him and like take pictures and ask him a couple questions or whatever. But they hold they him? Well, you know, like put your arm around him, take picture. Oh stuff. okay. Yeah. It wasn't like a like a cuddle did session. He sound Carry him out like a baby. Yeah. How, yeah. How did he sound? And did he play down on the farm? <clears throat> I want to know how he sounded. Um. Literally, like probably like I, I haven't been to. I mean, this is like my first concert concert. Um. It literally sounded like studio level. Like he sounded super good. Lip syncing. <laughs> no, I don't think he was lip syncing. <laughs> <laughs> Did he sing? <laughs> no, I like not. it. I love it. Yeah, I want did. some more. Of it. I thought that was Tim. Yeah, he sang that. The green grass grows. Um, he sang Indian Outlaw. I'm an Indian Outlaw. I have trigger being in town town. Um, <laughs> did you get a picture of him in his I buffalo about briefs? That song. Did you get what? <laughs> did you get a picture of him in his buffalo briefs? <laughs> no, he's just wearing his skinny jeans and his open dress shirt the whole time. His cowboy hat. Mm, he dresses the mama. same a lot <clears throat> like he's tim mcgraw has like five pairs of pants four shirts and like three cowboy hats like he and never, that's how you know he, he's made yep. it yeah he just he can afford about. five pairs of pants he's got the mark zuckerberg <laughs> wardrobe one day <laughs> one day <laughs> tell you what i told my mom that he, he looks like like every time i've ever seen him in pictures it looks like every single piece of clothing he owns is like perfectly tailored to the shape of his body probably is <clears throat> like it just like he has like these dress shirts but they're like skinny fit dress shirts it's just like i, don't know, I, I think he's metrosexual <laughs> I he likes he trains just got a crush on him bro <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean turn on metropolises <laughs> <laughs> You know what a metrosexual He is? takes the subway a lot, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> My dad used to call Kenny Chesney that. <laughs> you don't know what metrosexual means? No. Oh, it's it's like a, it's basically like just, it means you're straight, but you're kind of like. You, you, you're you very, very well groomed. You care about well your appearance groomed, a lot. Yeah, that's a good like term. Yes. You got, like, I, thought that was just called, I thought that was just called having decent hygiene. No, see, yeah. everything needs a label. It's like a next level. I mean, having decent hygiene is, you know, taking a shower, washing your hair, washing your ass and stuff, and brushing your teeth. But the, being a metrosexual metro. is, like, next level. You it's do, like, metro. full, like, facials and, like... You run the full train on it. You keep, I'm more country sexual. Now, you, you said they weren't gay. your toenails grow more than, like, two days. You know, just, like, perfectly... Like, everything just has to be, like, perfect on your body, and you're just, like, super You tailor meticulous. your jeans for your country. But what is the sexual... <laughs> yeah. What is what is the sexual part I don't know. I, I, don't, it's, I, I don't really think it's, like, a... It's not really, like, a sexual term. It's just that's I have heard people, that before. Yeah, it's kind of what yeah. People it has coined, nothing like, to do with where you want to put your penis. I don't know why yeah, it's called that. It. I think you describe that's the way I heard it. Was like you just care about how you look <laughs> and shit all the like dress up nice and all. Yeah, yeah. I haven't heard that in a while though. Throwback. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably Wait, like Wednesday. Mor- probably like morbidly offensive now to say that or some Mental shit. Sexual, yeah. 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 It seems like one of those psychosocial. Yeah. Tim McGraw is psychosocial. <laughs> did he cover that? <laughs> yeah, he did psychosocial. That would be, that that would be, be incredible. Psychosocial. I'd pay you to see that. <laughs> I did my time and I won out. <laughs> I did my time on the farm and I won out. The coolest thing, though, is the. Um, that sounds like a Blake Shelton song. We went there on Friday, right? And that's when, like, the concert and stuff was. But the next day, they had a baseball game. And, like, Tim McGraw had his own team of people. 
and then guy had his own team like his own team of people and uh it was pretty sick because on guy's team uh mc hammer was one of the players and you were there yeah. for this yeah that's kind of sick. I took of Did you, like get the, the, you should have went out there and played and said, "Hey, I'm McNasty, MC Hammer. I'm going to play baseball now." <laughs> Guy and Tim McGraw playing baseball against each other. Can't yeah, it was, it was pretty sick. Ever put that together? Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> wild. Like I, I didn't think it was going to be that interesting, but it was pretty fucking interesting because like it was ba- well, it was softball, but they didn't take it like <laughs> right. super, super seriously. So like, you know, people were kind of joking around, and, like just basically having fun. But it wasn't like watching a Giants versus Dodgers game where people were like all serious about it. <laughs> But, paid um, millions yeah yeah they did a uh <laughs> their career <laughs> <laughs> there was actually uh some like some ba- like active baseball players there too like professional baseball players wow that's hot yeah, that's they, sick actually they did like a home run derby like after the game was over and like each home run like earned more money because the, the reason they did that baseball game was there for the charity for the uh for veterans mm-hmm. and uh, there was a lot of like old ass veterans like vietnam veterans like world war ii veterans like on like scooters and shit and like uh Damn. the home run derby like every every person that hit like a home run got like earned an extra like certain amount of money and <clears> was fun. it like random people on the teams who was on yeah like, filled all well, the spots most of it was like um first responders like a lot of oh, like, okay. firemen uh were on the team and stuff and then like what the mayor of of something was also there <laughs> I can't Tim remember what city, but he was. A was mayor. it the mayor of Tomato Town? Yeah, I heard they got wiped out. <clears throat> yeah, it was Mayor Dimmadome. <laughs> it's Doug Dimmadome. <laughs> I stole that joke from dude. He just said that. Yeah, I just said <laughs> that. Oh, I didn't. I gotta get uh, it's okay. Okay. When you when you say the joke louder. <laughs> I gotta run that back. You ever Take seen two. that Key and Peele joke where he's all high pot news? I'm high on pot news. And the fucking no. no? You guys haven't seen that Key and Peele sketch? <laughs> high pot news triangle. I think so. I think I've, I've seen a, like almost every Key and Pill. Yeah, I've watched it from like see, like see episode one all like all the way to the end. On it's like a shit ton, right? Uh, not a not a whole lot. Do they do them anymore? No, they haven't done them in like uh, fucking eight so. years or something. Hmm. I think like 2013 was like the last time they did it. They were so fucking. Good. <clears throat> it kind of sucks, yeah, because it was just even the later episodes were like really good. Like it didn't really seem like they were running out of ideas or anything. I think what happened is Jordan Peele just kind of like. Moved on to wanting to make like more serious stuff. <laughs> like those movies he made. That's probably what it was. Yeah, I still haven't seen Get Out. I want to see that real bad. I saw that. I saw I like I woke up from a drunken <clears throat> stupor at like three a.m. in a hotel, and I saw like half of it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you remember when we went and saw Boss Baby, and I slept? I was <laughs> yes, hammered. <laughs> hammered and i slept the entire time yes really yeah i did that when i saw paul blart when i was young that's a good movie you got hammered and inebriated for paul blart i wasn't wasn't hammered but i fell asleep (laughs) for during paul blart you fucker yeah i was yeah i I think i was just like running on fumes that i was just super tired you fucking goddamn fucker i've seen paul blart though the whole thing a few times (laughs) was he at the charity event Oh, Did he hit a home run? Was he, he one of, was, was he one, yeah, was he one of the veterans <laughs> in the scooter? Did he Paul Blart? <laughs> Did he tee ball and then go to first on his Segway? He rode his Segway around the bases. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah it was kind of fucked though because uh, like uh, team or guys team had like a like professional baseball players on shortstop and first, which is like. <laughs> I'd say that's kind of like cheating a little. Ain't bit. no ball yeah, getting and past Tim McGraw's team. Tim yeah. McGraw actually played shortstop. And <clears throat> hear me out. Tim McGraw's great, That's country, hilarious. Great, great country singer, great actor, terrible baseball player. He don't keep his glove down. Can't, can't get a ground ball. Get, <laughs> you got to get your chest in front of it, Tim McGraw. There Stop was, laying that thing. I mean, he was trying. Hey. Like There was a couple times where he dove for catches, but he couldn't get them. But he just like. Did he I get mean, his you, perfectly if, if you're tailored you're and you can't get the ball dirty. and fire in first immediately, you're just going to fucking lose. And they just. He got dominated. But Who was playing short for the other team? Was it like an actual pro like right yeah, now? It was a, yeah. Yeah. I can't remember his name though. You know what team? No, I don't remember. Wow. There was quite a few. Damn it. There was quite a few baseball players. There was a. Uh, you know who Rich Aurelia is from Giants? Old baseball player. Nope. I don't think so. No. Yeah, there was a, there was a few guys there. Brandon Crawford maybe played short. No. Long haired dude. I think Rich Aurelia no. was the only <laughs> guy from Giants there. But, uh, looking up pictures of Tim McGraw. How playing old softball. is Tim McGraw? Uh, he's fifty-five, I think. 
It is a little old to be on a shortstop. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> with that bitch in outfield. Tim McGraw, like he he is ex- insanely fucking fit. Like he does like crossfit really? and shit. Like he's yeah. Oh, he's one of those assholes. Team McGraw. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah. Look at guy, dude. He yeah, looks guy, like a rooster. The stupid thing about guy though is he didn't like he didn't play the field. And when he when he hit a ball, he had like some kid run for him. Okay. <laughs> He did all right. He did diners, drive ins, and dives. <laughs> I mean, I was assuming maybe because he's a little tubby, he can't really like you know. He didn't His career work. didn't require looking good for the camera. <laughs> he just shot an episode that morning. Yeah. <laughs> he down. just got done with an episode of it. <laughs> he just got done eating like a foot long chili dog. Like, yeah. You know what? I ain't running them. I got a whole gallon of buffalo chicken dip in here. I ain't running them first. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, it was pretty fun though. Um, definitely a pretty cool first concert experience. Even though I'm, you know, I'm not really a massive fan of Tim McGraw or anything. I think every celebrity should be required to have a softball game the day after their concert. That just sounds like the yeah. most perfect like follow up. Because you're sad the concert's over and they left, but then the next day you could just, you know, like eat fucking nachos and watch them play softball and drink some beer. Yeah, well, unless it's be January in Green Bay. Uh, well, that, yeah, I mean, true. I don't know. Then the artist pays for everyone to fly to Miami. Okay. It's and a little, <laughs> a little much. <Yeah. laughs> just take all the earnings they made in the concert and just blow it on. <laughs> I'm taking us to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the Philippines for six months. Thanks for watching me sing for two car. hours. We're going to go to Hawaii on a cruise. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty crazy. Uh, it was expensive though. Uh, for the two tickets, was five grand. Damn! Wow. Yeah. They should take you to Hawaii now. Damn! Wow. I think because it was a charity event. Yeah. Because it was a charity <laughs> event, they just had like really high end. The, the, I think the most expensive ticket you could buy was two hundred fifty grand. Jesus Christ! Oh, some. I'd like to know who was there. You should have been looking at the yeah. Fucking crowd. Yeah, you were. Andrew you were Tate, Tim McGraw, dude. You were around some elite. <laughs> I bet you Elon was fucking bopping to Tim McGraw. Back <laughs> <in the back. laughs> well, with the, with uh, so like the the five grand tickets. It wasn't five grand a piece. It was five grand for two people, and then four tickets for the baseball game. But we donated two of the tickets because it was just me and my mom. Um, but like the two hundred fifty dollar, nice. two hundred fifty grand package, you get like a lot of tickets. It's like you get to probably run like first 10, 10 tickets. You probably get like 40 <laughs> tickets for the fucking baseball game. You think you get like a huge cruise on like a stay at like a super nice hotel. Like it's it's definitely not just for the ticket. Right. You get That's like crazy. a lot Is of it that. worth $250,000 oh, though? Definitely not. <laughs> no. You can stay in a Warren hotel Buffett. and 40 tickets to a softball game. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cool thing is... <laughs> <laughs> Stuff that would cost you, I, don't I know, know it's for charity. I'm just, or I'm, less. Just, I'm, just, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> Literally, the cool thing too but is Tim can, McGraw was there. I could write off most of it too on taxes, which is you know kind of helps with the. Fair enough. You should punch. all, you, or you could like start some fake photography business. Yeah, I, just take pictures know, of every activity that you fake. ever do. Write off yeah. all of life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I took it. Took I a had picture. to buy this Rolex to take a picture of it. <laughs> take a picture of your toilet paper while you're taking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'll take a picture of every meal, <laughs> every fucking meal you you cook. Um, yeah, life was, hack. I actually contacted the photographer that was there, like the main photographer on Instagram, and I asked him, like, I like I sent him my my post, and I was like, hey, I I, I don't know if you saw me there. I was the tall, heavy set dude with the big, long, like white lens camera. And he was like, oh yeah. And then I was like, oh, I sent him my Instagram post. I was like, oh, how do you feel about the pictures I took? And he's like, oh, they're pretty nice. Like, he was like the because uh, uh, I asked him for feedback, and he was like, well. You got 16k likes on yours. I only got 140 on mine, so I should be asking you for feedback. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "Nah, dude, I'm just a funny moments YouTuber, <laughs> I'm an actual photographer." Is that actually what you said? Yeah, no, I didn't say. I funny am moments. a funny moments I YouTuber. Said, oh, yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like a gaming YouTuber. Like that's why people follow me, and not not for my photography. I just barely started, but yeah, he like gave me a couple of tips, and he was like, "Yeah, they're pretty good for for being like, you know." The second a, time I've ever an really amateur tried to piece be. of shit loser, yeah, fucking okay. moron with a white lens camera, fucking noob. I'm over it. I'm leaving the goons. You got to get that long black lens, boy. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Why you got to have the any pictures. Actually, yeah. the, yeah. Most, Go ahead. the most expensive like Sony lenses you can buy are white. I don't know why. Hmm. 
Yeah. Sony, what's that about? <laughs> Explaining. <laughs> I seen, I seen bitches at, at events with like the fucking Hubble telescope <clears throat> taking pictures of stuff. Now you know yeah. that rig's gotta be expensive. <laughs> they're just like Len Ho! They're, like, no, they're actually taking <laughs> a picture. <laughs> <laughs> well that's yeah. pretty epic, McNasty. Yeah, I'm happy for you. That's yeah. really cool. You should do stuff like that more often, man. It's a lot I of fun. Am. I to have get two out. more concerts by the end of the year. But I'm not going to talk about uh, this. Who are you going to see? I'll talk about them after the concert because I don't uh, want people to know. Yeah, I got you. Yes. Fair enough. Yes, my very good. Very nice. Everyone's going to be at their, their concerts <clears throat> looking for a fucking tall dude with a long ass white. <laughs> yeah, you just talks <laughs> the hell out of yourself. Well, everyone that, everyone at a show that has one of those is going to be like, hey, McNasty, McNasty. Like, people are going to run up to He's him. He's actually just following just Tim like McGraw around the country. Beer, right? Hey, McNasty, oh my God, you. <laughs> Do a funny moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, um,. I, I think that, like, typical concerts, they don't let you take, like, cameras like that. I mean, you can probably take pictures with your phone, but I don't know about, like, bringing your a professional... 14-foot-long camera? Yeah, into, like, just a channel. Walk in with a telescope? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let you t- <laughs> you can be hiding a gun in that telescope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Dude, what have you been up to? Uh, nothing that exciting. Uh, what'd you have for breakfast? Oh, that is exciting. I had pancakes. Oh, nice. Ho- homemade pancakes, or did you? They were frozen, bro. Just the Ego? Uh, Ego? Ego? No. Ch- eat something different than chicken and rice for breakfast. And eat I had chicken. Frozen. A frozen no, pancake. I had I had chicken, bro. Chicken and pancakes. Chicken and pancakes. Chicken and pancakes. Dude, what yep. is wrong with you? Hood class. The pancake was frozen. Are there other more delicious ways <laughs> to get protein <laughs> than fucking chicken? Dude's in the trenches, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he can't afford chicken and waffles, bro. You got a ten-year-old Hanes on. <laughs> <laughs> do do like do eats like the only brand that he can buy is great value. Like that's the only brand it has. It was is that it was uh, the Ego pancakes or? Uh, I don't know what the brand is. I don't. I've never even looked at it. It's it wasn't just, one of them fucking bullshit like protein powder. They pancakes. were no, 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 no. Yeah, it was they just were. normal ass pancakes. <laughs> it wasn't whey. I promise. Fuck those, dude. That, that I've had those before. They're fucking disgusting. How do you Some eat of them are bad. Pancakes. I don't. Like, I, I don't know, know you like bougie five. asshole. You just do it. You put it down your gullet and you swallow. <laughs> it's like what chicken and mean? waffles. Like, it actually doesn't sound that yeah, bad. Yeah, but, it's, but I doubt that he ate fried chicken. It no, like no. It was just, it was just, yeah, it was It was like a grilled what chicken breast. Ch- chicken okay, breast. I don't, I don't know about grilled. Yeah. That's a little, that's a little, that might be a little, like, rough. That's that's kind of like getting into almost prison food territory. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's more like bodybuilder like type. you eating just so you don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, that is live. that is essentially the point. Yes, to live to be 174. Well, I mean, you can enjoy like you know, enjoy some pancakes without having to add 60 grams of protein to it. Just enjoy You're... some nice sweet pancakes for once. What? What? what wait, what, wait. Well, hold on, hold on. Because I ate the chicken, I didn't yeah, enjoy the it pancakes. Makes it weird. <laughs> it makes Explain it this to me. It makes what it did weird. you eat first? I feel like you should have ate the chicken first and then had the pancakes. I did it in the inverse of that. It's like eating chicken. It's like eating a taco, That's, and then I would probably a hot eat the dog. pancakes first, honestly. Like really, the yeah. pancakes got done faster, so I just ate those. Oh, all right. So uh, you air fry your chicken breast? <clears throat> I microwave. Huh? You microwave your chicken <laughs> you breast? Said what now? Do you live in a van? <laughs> Tell me right now. <laughs> I want to know. Do an RV? <laughs> you would thrive in an RV. <laughs> you <laughs> like yeah? You those people that re- that Why renovated don't we even the school house? bus. Yeah. Why even buy this fucking house, bro? How do you microwave a chicken breast? It's Very careful, I guess. It's you put frozen. it in there and press start, buddy. All my food is frozen. It's very you, simple. I just don't even... This man lives in an RV. I figured it out. It, you know, it's like... Remember how we used to always have the problem where, like, I would talk about your money on the podcast and, like, we get all heated about it? Uh-huh. This is one of those times where I really want to talk about it again. About my money? Just... I, I just can't understand how you... Hey, you, do you season it? Microwave chicken breast. You're not. I have a sweet myth, baby rays. Addict that lives under a fucking bridge. <laughs> I want. I want to know. It, dude. I wanna, okay. Okay. Here's the thing. Give me your. Give me your recipe. Cooking, give me. cooking is such a like a bad ROI type thing. I don't want to spend any time on cooking. <laughs> so so if I can just microwave some shit and I'm done in a minute and a half, 
Yeah, no, cool I get me. that. I mean, I do too. Like, you I, you're I in there saying like you gotta, well, I gotta I put these, it over a, in a brick meals. oven, slow roast that bitch for an hour, <laughs> no, 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 stand no, there no. and turn it every thirty <laughs> minutes. They do that it's at like, Walmart. <laughs> you can get a rotisserie. They like, do that at Walmart. It's five dollars. <laughs> you can order. You can probably order chicken, and and it would be way more delicious than a microwave. I, no, I, I would be more willing to spend money on a personal chef than than cook that shit myself. No, that's money. I got a question, dude. You can't what, do what's that your when you live in an RV? What's your um? <laughs> what's the what's the RV. recipe? What's the what's the? <laughs> it's not even technically a grilled chicken breast. It's a microwave chicken breast. Yeah, no, what it's, is a, it? it's like it's, a, it's a radio wave chicken breast. <laughs> no, no, no. You understand? I'm it's not nuked. I'm not nuked putting breast. I'm not putting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what every lady is now. I'm not. I'm not putting raw chicken in my microwave. It's pre. You're just an innovator. You're an innovator. Okay. It's okay. Pre- I see. It, I was it, thinking pre cooked, so it's okay. already grilled, and then I put okay. it in the microwave. It's done in a minute and a half, and I'm consuming okay. my protein before that you makes can a say lot hippopotamus. More sense. That makes a lot yeah, more sense. I was. I, was raw. I, I thought you were putting a raw chicken <laughs> fucking breast like on a plate in the microwave. You're just and eating it dry man. like an animal. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's why. Say. That's why I was confused. That'd be like a chicken no. chip, dude. Yeah. That thing would be okay. so fucking that, dry. That makes a lot shit more is, sense. Shit is already <laughs> cooked. I could technically. Like say, that sounds miserable. I mean, like a big ass pencil <laughs> eraser. Fucking miserable. <laughs> You remember those? You remember those uh, erasers you would get like in school, a like the huge big ones. Yeah, <laughs> yes. That's what that would be like. Just eating one of those. <laughs> Dude. Oh. You no, don't, I, I, do you don't have an air fryer? Uh, not here. I had one at my other. Oh, house, you gotta get one. I'll, I'll I'll link you one that's like a really. It's it's I'm actually sure it's like a five in one. Uh, it's made by Ninja and it's like a. You can air fry. I have that. Ninja have Blevins that has an air fryer. <laughs> yeah, Tyler, Tyler Blevins made it. Yeah. yeah, it has a big old blue wig on it with a yellow bandana. <laughs> <laughs> Damn good at Fortnite too. Yeah. That's hilarious. I'm gonna buy a blue wig for mine and put it on top of it. <laughs> put it on my yeah, blender on too. Fire. Um, no, but you can uh, you can grill with it. You can broil. It. Like it's it's basically a mini oven, but with mine an air can, fryer. Uh, right, mine can yeah. dehydrate. Air like, fryers are make lit. beef jerky or whatever. <clears throat> oh really? Oh yeah. You don't even have to preheat that bitch. Either. I only, you just turn I've them only ever used mine for air fryer just because like it has a bigger space on the inside, so it's not like a square like the. Most of the cheaper air fryers are, which I fucking hate. I've made like a little personal pizza in mine before. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I wish they would make that like... That can cook anything. I wonder yeah. if they've made like actual ovens with an air fryer built in. Because that'd be nice. You could put like a whole bunch of shit in there. They do. You mean an oven that can like air fry? Yeah, like a big ass oven. Yeah. Yeah, they do have those. Really? That'd be nice mm-hmm. to have. Yeah. Because that's, like, that's really the only thing that kind of sucks about air fryers is like... It's just not... You it's can't really small. put much in there all at once. Yeah. That's the best damn chicken breast I've ever had, though, is <clears throat> an air fryer. Air fried? Yeah. I don't yeah, think I've ever done chicken delicious. in an air fryer, but I know. It's so good. It's so fucking good. Yeah. So, yeah, do air fryer. I've never done that either. Oh, no, I know. I've, I I had one over at my <clears throat> other house. I just need to either bring it here or just buy a new one. They are <laughs> I would suggest lit. The, lit as fuck. If, if you're the type of person that doesn't <laughs> like to cook and you want things done fast, air yeah. fryer is the way to go no, because it's like... Hashtag uh, ad. <laughs> that did sound like a... If you're the kind of person that likes to... <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, use cold goose for goose on goose. Yeah, 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 the Becker reminds me of uh, what's that movie? It was supposed to be the Holy Trinity. Prometheus. The devil got in here. I think it's oh no! no. And he disguised himself <laughs> as an angel. That is it's a, an angel. What does that couch smell? Dude, this thing—it's not too bad. I know that motherfucker smells like beer and cigarettes. I should just lay here like this. You know that oh. smell of like <laughs> of like somebody. I charge for that. Sorry, go ahead. You know that smell of somebody that's been smoking a bunch, and then like that, like it's like a couple hours later, you could still smell that cigarette smell on. Yeah. Oh yeah. I feel like that's what that couch smells like. You think so? Yeah. Well, actually, I don't know because you don't go. You guys don't really smoke cigarettes, huh? No, no. It it's no, definitely not on this. And he hasn't even had this that long, really. So. Uh, I mean, it's <clears throat> it smells more like the fucking area around it in here than the couch. Hmm. It's not too bad. Are you living with soup now or what? No, no. Mm-hmm. I just come here, decent amount. How far do you uh, live away from him? 
Several hours. Several hours? Yeah. What the fuck? Why? Um, I don't know. I just, I mean, I've lived, it's been like that for like five or six years now. Huh. I thought you guys live like fucking down the street from each other or something. No. So you just like, you just have days where you're just like, fucking, I'm just going to drive multiple <laughs> hours just to go do a reaction yeah. stream with my friend. Basically, <laughs> once a head. month, hmm. I traverse this great country and come here. Do you and, even live uh, in South Carolina? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. okay. It's not that far. I'm making it seem like it's super far. <clears throat> yeah. It's really not that far. But yeah, it's I've come here, stay for a few days, and head on out. Well, that's kind of cool. It's not bad, really. Norway. It's, fucking, it's a fucking lie. What do you mean? Come on now. I keep this thing right here in my basement. And when it's time to make some money, I say, <laughs> get on get out, boy. Get on out, boy. <laughs> I, throw him, I throw him a nuke chicken breast. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll do answer. anything I and tell a, him. A frozen waffle. <laughs> or pancake. Yeah, frozen pancake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> chicken breast. Oh, I love that, It's term. not bad, though. I can't see him every day, and that wouldn't be good. Mentally, Oh, everything. yeah. I, I feel like if I, if I had friends, which I don't, <laughs> if I had, like, IRL, well, I guess my roommate's my friend. I don't really think about that. But, but if I had, like, IRL friends that I had known for a long time, if I saw yeah. them all the time, I'd eventually just get tired of them. Even if, even if we got along well, it's just like. I think that's literally anyone in the world for me, honestly. Yep. Like, Some I, people are I different, though. They it, can but... just be around people all the time and have no problem. But Yeah, that's not maybe. me. I have a low social battery. No, I just call it extra I need a little version, bit of time. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I like being around people, but I just can't every fucking day. I can't do it all the time. Word. Yeah. I love my current situation is perfect because I don't like living alone. Um, but I like living with somebody who I don't have to see all the time. And my roommate kind of just really like keeps himself most of the time. So it's like That's nice. perfect. Like we go three or four days without seeing each other sometimes. But when we do see each That's other, we bad. joke around, you know, have talk about shit and you know, because he's me. He's my the vocalist for my band, so we're always talking about like music and shit too. How do you live in a house with somebody but not see them for days at a time? I don't uh, understand how that schedules. works. <laughs> it's easy. It's, <laughs> it's very, it, very, very easy. To Actually, do, I promise. Yeah. yeah, you'd be huh. surprised. I mean, it's probably different for you, dude, because you lived with your parents, and I'm sure your parents had. You know, they were responsible. They probably had the same ske- sleep schedule every day. Go to work. Yeah, they used to try to catch me jacking off too. They'd barge in my room all the time. So yeah, kind of hard to avoid that. So you like you knew when they like, were that was be, two months ago. You knew when they were going to be around. Like if you knew at five p.m. you were going to be your mom was going to be home, your dad was going to be home cooking dinner or something. But yeah. living here, he it, we don't have sleep schedules. We just kind of like sometimes we're waking up at three p.m. Sometimes we're going to bed at you know ten a.m. Shit like that. So sometimes we're just on opposite schedules. And it's hard well, to I mean, I had roommates that were just in their room. Like, they literally never, never left the room. I'm like, I don't even know how you're alive. Dead ass. I really <laughs> yeah, don't know, like, he's how. He's kind of like that, but he does come out. You know, he comes out and he cooks food and stuff. He's not just, like, a complete, like, hermit crab. He's like, I'm out and doing stuff and all, but I don't, they would just, like, be in the room all day, every day. I'm like, yeah. should I do, like, a wellness check once a week? <laughs> I don't know. Has <laughs> he I, hung I, himself? <laughs> like, what's going on yeah. in there? <laughs> I haven't even seen I smelled food. Like the fuck's going on? Yeah, I've I've lived with people where like the only indication I know they're alive is every once in a while I can hear them like sneeze or cough. I'm like, okay, <laughs> exactly. Thank God. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was afraid that like one day I was just gonna start smelling some weird funk, and I'm like, oh my god, I call the fucking ambulance cops. I, I had I had a roommate. Weeks. I had a roommate, uh, Brandon. Uh, a lot of you guys might know because <clears throat> yeah, if, I remember Brandon. if you watch my my second channel and stuff, but uh. He had a sinus infection for six months. Holy shit! And, yeah, and he he uh, lived in the room like almost. Oh shit! Oh, your camera turned off. Come back, McNasty. Hello, Come McNasty. back. I can't see you. Are you there? Yeah, I'm he's here. there. He's there. Give me a beer. Just Can you do your Costco there. hot dog dance to prove you're alive? Costco hot dog dance. You know the one. <laughs> You don't remember that? We were like, Costco hot dog, Costco hot oh, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one, baby. I can't see you still. It's just like a, a red mark over your camera. Red mark? Are you sure it's not my hat? Let me turn it off back on again. <laughs> I'm sure it's not your hat. <laughs> How drunk are these bitches? Oh, no. <laughs> Is it my hat? There she goes. Oh, and shit. He, and then there were two. Discord crashed. Excuse me? Hello. Welcome back, McNasty. Hello. 
Discord crashed when I turned I'm my camera gone. on. Oh. How about that recording of yours? Is no, that record, still in text? Recording's fine. Recording. Recording's fine. It's just the camera died for some reason. Can you see me now? I still can't see, but it's fine. Yeah. I mean, you're just basically there's really still much to see. I just anyway. sit here like a fucking statue. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, my roommate had a sinus infection for like six months or something, and I would check on him occasionally because I, I w- it would be like a week or something, and I'd be like, God damn, is this is this dude like alive? Like, what is going on? And he'd just be like balled up in his bed, and then like occasionally he'd he'd come out and just have like a blanket wrapped like around him and just like coughing and shit. And I would tell him, I'm like, bro, you gotta you gotta go to the doctor. <laughs> like you should go <laughs> yeah. to the doctor. Like it's not normal to be sick for like three months. I remember coming yeah. over and not seeing him, and all of a sudden he like I hear him. I'm like, bro, you've been here the whole time. I need to get him on here to talk about that because it was so fucking funny, dude. And it was like. <laughs> I was like, bro, you need to go get checked out. And then, like, eventually one day he was like, oh, I'm going to the doctor. I'm like, dude, god damn, it's about time. <laughs> I was like, you have lung cancer. You have eight weeks to live. Uh, yeah. Well, dude, he, he <laughs> apparently his sinus infection was so bad that he almost went blind. How? What? what? It's possible? That's right. I mean, yeah. I, I think your sinuses are connected to your <laughs> eyes, aren't they? It was something like that. I oh, had they're right I next to each other. That's why, like, if you get allergies, <laughs> your eyes water and stuff. Like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I don't know, but it, it was like the doctor. The doctor said something along the lines of, "If you waited like much longer, you were about to go blind." Can you imagine <laughs> going like blind old, from a sinus infection that like in a like, tale, like 2022? You, I'm sorry, you off, you're gonna go blind or something like. Yeah, it'd be hard to not laugh at that though. He's like, "I went blind from a sinus infection." <laughs> it's like, you dude, little pussy. It's like you're the first. That's, you're the first person this has happened to since 1840. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since <laughs> modern medicine, medicine existed. <laughs> <Literally>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's, some people would rather lose both of their legs than go to the doctor. Yeah. Oh, dude, I can it's see true. a little fucking Ibanez creeping behind you. Hold that Pia. Hold that Ibanez Pia. 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 I was thinking about selling it, but I don't know if I want to. No, dude, That's I the love this I guitar. Here, isn't it? so is that good. your uh, is that your dream sexual scarf behind you? What is that on the door? That yeah, that's my flag. <laughs> I'm a dream se- oh my god, it is the dream colors. Holy shit. <laughs> It's a DC shirt. <laughs> 2008. <laughs> I never even realized that. I, I hung that there because I was trying to like get rid of reverb in here and stuff. So I have like pillows and shit in all the corners. Yeah, just Bro, just, stuff, like, <laughs> just buy some. I love foam. the way you live. It's uh, that's amazing. I, you have this like mentality where like if there's a problem, your first instinct is just to find whatever's ar- you already have. I w- listen, McNasty. Listen, listen. I was raised. <laughs> like, I was I shot raised. A squirrel because I was hungry. Was like Twelve cents. A square, I was. Dude. I. <laughs> Listen, I was I was raised not wealthy, so I, I still have yeah, I the to same sleep mentality. On a mattress on the floor and I still just have. In my mouth. I still have a similar mentality. Okay. You gotta get. He's like, dude, it. I'm dying of thirst. Saying, it hasn't like, rained in a while. Like, you don't have to like, go out and buy a Lamborghini and a mansion, but at least if you need to read them, gone buy some fucking foam on Amazon. It's like eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, no, damn, I, got, yeah, I got some curtains. Fuck it, I'll just hang those But off. there's no <laughs> echo in here. Penis! Penis! Wait, why, uh, dude, why are you there's in no echo in here. Dehydration. It hasn't rained in a while. Okay? <laughs> 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 why spend money on water when we're God gives to, it to us? We're in drought right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. There's no towels in there. Ain't no creek in my backyard anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no there's more squirrels to kill. There's no echo in here. The job is done, bitch. Yeah, no, I know. I get enough. it. I get it. I'm if it just, works, it works, man. Breaking your balls, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm dead heavy. fucking serious, Oh, I'm definitely buddy. not that. <laughs> you know, the, the, well, the funniest thing, though, I, I know we've talked about this before, too, but the funniest thing to me is, like, you, you kind of went through, like, when you met me, you kind of went through that transition of, like, just dealing with a shitty guitar and amp to, yeah. like, actually... Like experiencing like the finer side of like guitars and like what like amp modeling stuff can do. I feel like that might that would that was gonna like bump you into being like, oh, you know, if, if I do spend a little bit extra more money, <laughs> nope. I can have nicer things. But you're like, no nope, nah. curtains on the wall. <laughs> like the Hello Kitty guitar. <laughs> yeah, baby. So, yeah, I, yeah, I, you know, I was nice. thinking about the other day because my An mom. Upgrade. My mom told me that she she saw your your like your Hello Kitty video and she was like, "Do you have a Hello Kitty guitar?" I was like, "Yeah." I can't remember. Did I tell you to buy that guitar or not, or did you no. get that on your own? That was that was mine. I, I have some was of my you? own ideas. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just had that for years. I just couldn't right? remember if I because you know I told you 
about other stuff before, but I can't remember if that was... That's 15 years old. <laughs> I found that behind a dumpster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually that handcrafted that present. from dirt in the backyard. <laughs> I stole it from an eight-year-old girl at Guitar Center. <laughs> Chopped down a tree and I made salad for dinner and then a Hello Kitty guitar. <laughs> You're just mad, bitch. <laughs> You're mad. I went in my freezer and got some chicken and pancakes. And all of a sudden, Hello Kitty guitar. Now I'm famous. <laughs> he was waiting on the rain so he could drink something. And decided to carve out a guitar. <laughs> oh boy, it's pretty. Uh, pretty Guatemala. Pretty intense. Mm-hmm. Would you guys ever own any livestock? Nah. Probably not. That sounds like lives. work. Yeah. Sounds like effort. Is a horse livestock? I think Is so. Is it alive? You could, you could eat it. Yeah. You could grill it up. I mean, if you have I, one horse, wait, it's probably what? not considered livestock, but if you have like 800... 800 you're horses? You'd be a trillionaire. <laughs> yeah, 800 you'd be horse. on the You'd be on Yellowstone, the show. <laughs> are, are horses like super expensive or what? You would own Texas... I'm going to tell you this. I went into a tractor supply one time. There was a horse for sale, and I asked the guy how much. $55,000. What the fuck? fucking animal. One oh, horsepower. Yes. God. For one horsepower. That blew my mind. I remember that. I was like 13. I was like, what? Is it like 200 bucks? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe like a grand or something? Like <laughs> yeah. No. $55,000 for this horse. Why? I could Why go buy a Toyota, and I could get 4,000 like, horses. It would make Dude, more sense for you like... You could get three Toyotas for that. <laughs> It would make more sense to like, like for cows to be expensive because you you know you can sell a lot of the meat. Like, they are yeah. cows are. What do you expensive. really get from horses? Just I think like around? you can if it's like a good bloodline of the horse or you know what yeah. I mean, uh, like or something like real that. Real bougie <laughs> shit. It's it, a it purebred Aryan horse. It is, it is definitely bougie shit. I used to know a guy <clears throat> who worked in like some lab, and his job was uh to grow he, horse. He, he, well, his job was like literally. It was like I'm some a horse planter. It was like some genetic <laughs> shit where he would like get blood samples of horses and stuff, and like test the blood samples of the, of these horses, Man, and what? like yeah, he was, he said that he I think he said he did something for like some prince, like overseas or something. Like he had a horse that was like oh super God. like purebred or some shit. Look up how much they sell like the sperm and shit for. Honestly, look it up. It's unbelievable. Apparently, horseshoe crab. Uh, blood farming is also a, a very oh yeah because the blood is used for like uh like medicine and stuff yeah horseshoe crab blood is big business apparently i've actually caught a horseshoe crab. the reason why horses are that. so expensive is that horses require daily care which may be pricey and varies according to the variety of unpredictable circumstances the average cost of owning a horse is 3800 <laughs> per year that's not Holy even that bad shit like. that's more than i spend on my kid that's more, you, <laughs> that's more than you spend on anything what the fuck was that? Dude, <laughs> next week you should seal? just have a horse in your room with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is for a charity event. <laughs> I'm the charity, bitch. Only blows his money on just like dumb random things that don't make sense. <laughs> Tim McGraw gave me this. <laughs> I got a Saddam Hussein oh. statue worth 1.2 million sitting in my backyard. <laughs> Dominant encrusted Saddam grill. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was silly. Oh man, I want to get a goat. I think eventually I'd like to have a goat. Now, see, hmm. that's good ROI because like it'll mow goat? your lawn for you. Yeah, exactly. That is true. Yeah, eat my grass. I'm just scared that I'm gonna go <clears> outside <throat> one day and he's he's gonna be like on my roof in my, <laughs> of my house. Or you scare me? Not be like, good. Seizes up and falls over. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> rolls off the roof. They do be passing out little bitches. Not all of them. Yeah, there's like a certain type That's of coat certain, that does that. There's no, oh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to generalize yeah. the Leonard, goats, Don't talk about bro. Michael Jordan like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, like that, pussy. <laughs> I want a parrot, just so we know. I'm trying to get a damn parrot. A parrot? If oh, anybody parrot. knows how to get one, I think it's a know. parent. Yeah, I orphans really be sorry like... For you. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a parent, man. I've just been an orphan no. for 25 years. I'm in the market. You think orphan, orphans sit around and they're like, "Man, parents are fifty-five thousand dollars." <laughs> How am I going to make that much year? in this orphanage? <laughs> yeah, I used to. I used to want a bird. I actually, I bought a bird one time when I was probably like ten or eleven. I went to PetSmart. Do you guys PetSmart where you live? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And I bought like this. I can't even remember what type of bird. Just this cheap ass bird. And I bought a whole like cage set up for it, food, like everything to get it prepared. Yeah. 
and uh, they clip the wings when you buy them, and then, and then just so they don't like fly away. They don't like cut Excuse the wings me? off. They, they clip Damn. like Damn, that's that's kind of fucked up. You had a wingless bird. No, <laughs> they don't just chop the wings <laughs> off with a machete. <laughs> That's what dude does when he buys a bird. He's like, I'm going to eat these later. They clip this. I'm going to throw, throw that in the microwave. <laughs> I'm going to breed this. Dude, dude goes to buy a bird, and he, they clip the wings. He's like, wait a minute. No, he just what breeds you, them. He's got a cage of 100 cockatoos. <laughs> what y'all going to do with those wings? <laughs> Let me pop that bitch in my freezer right for a while. <laughs> pancakes and bird wings. <laughs> now with <at> IHOP. <laughs> I uh, hop. <laughs> no, but they. I think they clip like a tendon or something that keeps them from like flying away. So if they get Damn. out, they can still kind of fly. Like they can flap Are... and go, but they can't just like fly up in the sky. I love that. I love that go. gas station. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> flap and go, baby. Are they even birds at that point? <laughs> flap and go. It's like an ostrich. I don't know. I don't know why they did it. I was only fucking ten it's like or eleven. Like a mini ostrich. But uh, the, I you brought it home in like a like a like a box that had like holes in it and stuff. And then I set it on the table to get like prepared to set the fucking bird cage up and stuff. And I open the lid and the thing like flaps, it freaks out and flaps outside of the box and lands on the floor. And the second it lands on the floor, my you old dog on. just came and just snapped its fucking neck. And I was <laughs> oh, my oh my god. I was oh freaking out. my god. Wow. Yeah. Oh I was okay. flying so hard. I, I think it I think oh. my stepdad at the time had Bro. to like end its life because it was just like it was like paralyzed, <laughs> bro. This bird, <laughs> this bird had a bad I day. About this on the podcast. <laughs> it got its That's, wings yeah. clipped and its neck snapped within an hour. <laughs> Literally, That's bad RNG. Within like twenty minutes. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, dude. I uh, I had a guinea pig one time. I got in trouble, and I got my car taken in high school, and so I fucking bought a guinea pig because I was grounded for like two or three weeks. <laughs> yeah, and when I got my car back, I let some girl like. She already had two of them, so I was like, you know, you can watch my guinea pig for me or whatever. She fucking, I hit her up like three days later. I'm like, you know, I can come pick it up if you want, or we can sell it. I don't care. <laughs> fucking thing, dude, thing had a heat stroke. It died. <laughs> what? Had a, had a heat stroke and died. Died. Wait, what, about, what about her? What about her Poor guinea Oscar. pigs? Died. Uh, all they all died. Oh, stroke. okay. Okay. I thought maybe it was like a coup yeah. on your did, particular. Did she like, yeah. Did she me. leave them out in the fucking she said, sun? I had let them play in the backyard and they died. They had a heat stroke. <laughs> Bro. That's what fucking happened. They have become <laughs> such weak ass little bitches. They can't even survive out in a yard anymore. That's like. Well, I will say those things are like, annoying. Not a though. hamster. I know hamsters are notorious for just like farting and dying. Like they just get a heart attack and <laughs> scared of their own sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> like. Oh shit! Oh, you know what's fucked up? Uh, so there's there's this thing where where um, I, I think hamsters. I, I don't know if it's maybe they get scared, but something happens where they go into like a hibernation mode, and they literally are act like they're dead. Like you can't wake them up. You have to just kind of let like leave them alone. But I think there's <laughs> that's there's not a, a possum. There's a statistic somewhere where there's been like a lot of people who like. Th- Flush their hand or like give like throw away their hand. Flush the it. hamster, or bury it, but they and it's they, just sleeping. And it's just sleeping. I don't yeah, think just, you should ever flush a hamster. Yeah, I don't know why I said flush. This will wake you up, bitch. I was thinking, put it in the blender. <laughs> it's yeah. like as it's going down, it's like I'm getting. Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm awake and awake. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What a dark turn we have taken! Wow, yeah, we have uh, <laughs> just killing animals and shit. <laughs> I bought I bought a uh, a goldfish from Walmart one time, and I didn't know you were supposed to put them in like an actual tank because uh-huh. like just put it in a fucking monster. Like, dude, put I, in a I cup put, of water. I dude, I put it, put it in, in a, a plastic. A <laughs> I put it put it in a Coca Cola two liter. <laughs> I put it in an old beer can. <laughs> <laughs> Try to give him his best life. He had a Mick Ultra bottle <laughs> just swimming around. I put him in a plastic, it. like one of those like plastic uh, bowl things that you put a lid on. But I, did, I obviously I didn't <laughs> pop it. I, yeah, a Tupperware. Exactly. A little Tupperware container. I, I did not put the lid on it, and I did not put him in the freezer under oath. I would have. did not do that. Eat that bitch. But yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, go for save that for later. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucked, and he he died the next day. I, I, he was just in a Tupperware container with it, with uh, tap water in it, and he died. How do you know he wasn't hibernating? 
I probably, True. I probably ate a bunch he, of lead on accident. Or as bad as sent, <laughs> microplastics. Yeah. It's fucked that parents tell their kids like, oh yeah, little fucking Johnson, he's he's going back to the ocean. Johnson? And then, I don't know, whatever you name, little Jimmy, whatever you name. Jimmy if you name your goldfish Johnson, I see what you there's my there, goldfish, Dr. Fauci. Yeah. <laughs> He's going, he's Don going, he's balls. dead. He's going to go back to the ocean. Meanwhile, he's just in your septic tank. His corpse is just, just floating shit around sh- other people's shit and well, in the sewer. Give him back to nature, though. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a circle. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to think the toilets were just connected right to the ocean. I feel like every kid. Yeah, did. same. They aren't? Not knowing that it's just, you know. What if you like. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think <laughs> I ever believe that. Never mind. I kind of miss when uh, Walmart <laughs> used to have like the fish section, though. Yeah, All the fish so you thing. could punch a glass. Yeah, like tap on the glass. <laughs> Most traumatized I'd, animals in the world. I'd, I'd throw some Alka-Seltzers in, in the tank and <laughs> walk away. Pour some Coke and Mentos in the tank. Put those, those, <laughs> those Orbeez in there. That, oh! Okay. <laughs> they, they eat a bunch of them and then just like expand and rip in half. So I like got a 25-pound goldfish in Walmart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Full of Orbeez. Oh. I, I remember I had two betta fish. And they, I had them separated down the middle, and the other one of them like fucking killed the other one through the little hole. Damn! Like, I don't even know how that happened, but it literally killed one of them. Badass. <laughs> Badass <laughs> betta fish, right there, buddy. Metal. It was an alpha fish. <laughs> I ain't no betta fish. That was a top G fish. <laughs> <laughs> top G. Top G. Top G. Goldfish. A little tight. A little tight fish. I just want a parrot so bad. That would be really yeah, cool. They're, those are expensive, I don't know where too. to get one. A brand, usually. I try to... I'm looking at it online. I don't fucking know where you get one at. There used to be one... I, I, I remember when I when I got that bird from PetSmart, they used to have, like, one parrot. And it was just in this right? big cage. And it was, like, $1,500. And I was like, well, I'm Yeah. Gonna there was always, like, one by itself. Yeah. And it would squawk and like talk a young and one, shit though. and shoot diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. Imagine just, <laughs> just walking in PetSmart, just doodle and just boom, like, right in the side of your face. Big old splatter of white <laughs> shit. Uh, Hopefully, I can get one. I had a oh. I had a hamster that died. I think I talked about it before on the podcast, but yeah. I had a hamster that died and it got buried in the backyard. And then my dog dug it up and ate him. <laughs> he li- like he he dug a up. Rebel up you gonna he, finish that? He, <laughs> he yeah. He, <laughs> <laughs> you guys burying dinner. <laughs> oh, you guys did a little seek and find for me. I appreciate yeah, it. Trying to hide the treats. <laughs> <laughs> but he dug him up and he like brought him to the front porch and he just had my dead hamster in his fucking mouth. And it was uh it was pretty fucking brutal. It was epic. Yeah. And you laughed and ate half. If of you're it. listening yeah. to this, just don't buy a hamster. Yeah. I or can't think pig. of a worse ROI investment. Uh yeah. I just said investment twice, so then buying a hamster. Return on investment. That's the investment. second time you said ROI, too, dude. You've been reading some economics. SMH yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm in I the NASDAQ you. trading. Holy oh, shit, your hands look white right there. I hear you. <laughs> Flashbang. <laughs> <laughs> this man's been reading his economics books. This man hasn't seen the sun in 45,000 years. Wall Street. Dude, you've never, you've never had a pet die I've had, tragically? I've had pets, but I, everybody in my family is um, allergic they to up, things with hair. dinner. So, yeah, we don't waste nothing. We clean the plate <laughs> in the Eric household. Um, I had, I've had i had fish, um, but uh, I never did anything with them. My mom just took care of them. I, I didn't really fuck with them at all. Um, I had this one catfish that lived for like 15 fucking years. I thought yeah, that bitch was boring, immortal. What a boring-ass pet to have a catfish. Yeah. You well, you can feed it other things, that right? Yeah. Louisiana seasoning. Shit. We 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 fed them those little like flaky like grandma's uh, dandruff flakes. You know that you They'll, feed the th- fish. They will eat. They will eat anything. Yeah, catfish yeah. will eat a fucking tin can if you get to them. Yeah, Bro, it'd be sick to have piranhas. Now that you say that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be actually kind of sick. Yeah. Have you I ever seen those? Feed, th- feed them like a cow <laughs> videos or something. You ever seen a yeah, video where they drop like a live mouse in a piranha tank and that bitch just turns to red mist? Dude, no, but I, no, I, I, saw, I, I think I saw that. somebody threw like a big piece of like raw meat and it just, it just went fucking Yeah, piranhas crazy. are they just, <sighs> yeah. vicious. <clears throat> I don't know. I think it'd be kind of sick though to have I want to own a like frog. That. If, I, if I were to get anything other than a dog, I would get a frog. I have like 18 frogs that live in my yard. So I basically I feel yeah. like a frog would be pretty boring, right? Or I, no? 
I tried yeah. to have like ten thousand frogs in my pool, and they frogs are just cannibal. so funny to look at. Like especially like a big fat flat one, and it's just like, but yeah, I, I have never seen a big fat one. They're always those tiny little bitches, little yeah, tiny guys. Gotta scour the internet for that. Yeah. Get yourself a or e- your backyard. E- frog. Just start digging. Dude. Start digging in your backyard. You'll find a couple <laughs> of them. I remember I used to know a kid that had a little like garden snake or something like that, and uh, he would keep mice frozen. And thaw one out once a week, like on a Monday. And then when he got home, he would drop it in there and just sit there and watch it just devour a, a dead mouse. Oh my God. So that was Jeffrey like Dahmer once a week. I was just going to say yeah. exactly that sentence, <laughs> word for word. We only hung out a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> he started trying to get me to step into his freezer. I was like, I got to go home. He's like, I only you watched it 40 yeah, times. Right? <laughs> yeah. He gives you a mouse. Like, you want to put a, anything in the freezer? He gives you a fucking mouse sandwich. He's like, you're not going to eat that? What are you, vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a liberal? This has a tail mm-hmm. hanging out of it. <laughs> yeah. It's just not a pet I would really want, I don't think. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, man. I think it's about time. Yes. Pussy puke. About that. Are Pussy we, uh, puke. By that time. Are we playing afterwards? Are you guys going to go beat no. off? Probably going to go beat. All right. Yeah. Yes. Ethan, do the outro. Ethan, do the, the outro. Out- dude, don't do this. Improv. You got it, dude. You got it. Come on. No Ethan wants to be a YouTuber so bad. That's not true. He can't do. All right. Come on. Like content subscribe. create. Come on. You know the play. Create content? Yeah. I'm going to kill you. Guys, thank you for watching the Goons Podcast. You already fucked up. Yeah. Including Ethan. Thank Make you sure for you being here, like Ethan. And a comment. And uh, say something nice to someone in the comment section. No. no and, oh, absolutely not. Don't buy a not. mouse or a guinea pig. <laughs> and Google <laughs> cat <laughs> off me with that. <laughs> <laughs> and, For uh, our Spotify listeners, uh, Ethan was in a headlock just now. Yeah, and Sue tried to shove his thumb in his mouth. <laughs> Man, you don't know where Fair that enough. thumb has been. <laughs> Where's a butthole been in some mice. That knuckle? <laughs> mm, it's face. my mice catcher, boy. <laughs> There's some sneakers attached to that fucking thumb. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, use code goons Good or goons. else. Goodbye. Buy some merch. Go buy some merch. Buy some merch. I said all that. I said all of that. <laughs>